Let's start the show, girls. All right, get this. A new law recently passed in the state of Illinois which requires salon professionals to undergo training in domestic violence prevention as part of their licensing. Mm. So the law intends to educate stylists to recognize signs of abuse and how to go forward if needed. Is this something that we should be doing more of, less of, pros, cons, oh. ladies? Mm. I, think, I actually think it's a great thing because mm. they take right. advantage of the or they see an opportunity in the intimacy that people right. have with their hairdressers, with their stylists. Yeah. Because don't you go, like when you go to the salon, you talk to that people, especially yep. if it's like a waxer. I know my aunt, because <laughs> thank you, thank you to my uh, grandfather, Ma, we are all very hairy in the family, okay. all of those men and women. Okay. And so one of my aunts is a professional waxer, and she was telling me that she actually talks a lot to her clients about advice about a lot of things mm -hmm. and she learns about that person's life and I think that if you're there with the person you're washing their hair you can see if they have like any bumps or any bruises on your body and sometimes people feel more comfortable with the with your stylist to I talk think, about problems. I think at least for me, the, the salon, like you said, it, it, it's sacred ground for like our female things. Like I have to go back to New York to get my hair cut because I'm not cheating on my lady. <laughs> that kind of deal. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm serious though. Uh, yeah. And I know that we confide in each other about our cheating spouses or boyfriends yeah. or whatever. My only, my only concern is like, what if I'm like a boxer or like I go and I do extreme sports and I'm all bruised up. Are they gonna immediately think that I'm getting beat up by my boyfriend? Yeah, you know, but I think the law is pretty cool though. I think it's 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 beneficial. I have a question though. Mm -hmm. So, of course, there are pros to like this the idea of community right. and and ladies talking and being honest with one another. But where does it affect the actual hairstylist? Oh. Well, privacy. Ooh. But like, if the hairstylist say say what they call the police and they and they set up, um, you know, some An kind intervention. of intervention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. is her salon now known to be the salon where like you know if you tell yeah. your secrets you're gonna. So I, well, where's the trust there? What I read um, was that they they are protected from liability, any liability, hmm. the, okay. the hairdresser or the stylist, and they're not obligated to report anything. Okay. So it can be anonymous and it's no obligation. Kind yeah. Of. Mm. But again, I, I think going back to the, the privacy thing, Yeah. I, I, I'll share this with you. If you go and tell it to someone else, I'm gonna see you differently. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, unless You're you no have my, my yeah. ex, ex, like, explicit permission to say something, mm -hmm. uh, it's hard. Yeah. For it, I mean, it, it's a little tricky. The, you good, know? the good part of the training is that if someone does say something about domestic abuse or anything like that, something uh. that's worrisome, mm -hmm. that person knows how to act or tell them, listen, if you want to go, there's somewhere that you could go and you Good. can tell this to. I like yeah. you know? So at I the like end that. of the day, with or without it, I mean, yeah, there are pros and cons, but the training is only going to be helpful. Yeah. Right. There's, at the end of the day, it's just going to help you. Right. You're not well, obligated. Right now, it's one state, just the state of Illinois, that they have this. And I think it's like 88,000 hairstylists that right. I have to gonna undergo in the next two years these training sessions. Now, question from mm. a, a business perspective, are, is the government gonna pay for the mm -hmm. training? Who is gonna like cover the employee's time off from work and stuff yeah. like that? So is it paid? Is it paid? Like, I'm thinking I about those things. I believe so, and the, and the training session is just an hour long. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I mean, oh. we should talk about that first. Oh. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> then, there should, then definitely. I wonder if sta certainly states are gonna come in and jump in on this. Yeah. If it's an hour long, it's not taking too much out of the mm -hmm. company's time or the employee's time, mm -hmm. for that matter. It's only gonna teach. I mean, they're not gonna become an expert, but yeah. they're gonna have tools sure. to they're counselors work with now. that. And yeah. I think yeah. anything that prevents domestic violence is a good idea. Yeah, anything is a good idea. I so agree. I, I, agree. I think it. I think it, in the spirit of the law is fantastic. Yeah, stamp. Yeah, yeah. and I, I have this like intimate like conversation. I mm -hmm. feel more comfortable with my like hairdressers or stylists in Brazil. But then when I'm here, they don't understand a lot of what I say. <laughs> <laughs> You know? yeah. They're like, oh, you want a, a frawa? You, want frawa? <laughs> you probably She's can do it better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it better than me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Do good it's job okay. for you. more. I can do more. <laughs> yeah. So but it is. It's a community thing. Whether yeah. it's Asian community, community Latino community. I mean, for women, yeah. a community mm -hmm. of women getting getting together, getting ready, prepping for the day. That's been around for Again, years. Again, it's our yeah. sacred ground for being just girls you know yeah. who do you trust with the most who do i trust the most with like this kind of conversation um, like who would you go to 
Oh man, my my hairstylist, my, yeah? the lady that cuts my hair. You would talk. If, see what I'm saying? If I, if I had to choose, because I'm not as hairy as you, so I don't have a waxing lady. <laughs> hey, all I have to shave. I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying. <laughs> so I think the only person that I can think of is my the lady that cuts my hair, because I don't do any of the other prim stuff. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not much of a girl. That's your one. That's your one. That's my only thing mm -hmm. that I kind of. In think general, of. though, who would you go to? My mom. Your mom. Yeah. yeah. My mom. Best First friend. and foremost, my mom. Best but your friend. girlfriends. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you go to your girlfriends. Sometimes it's easier to talk to someone who's kind of a stranger, but not really. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's you know? true. Because yeah. they all they know they know the man in your life as well, yeah. so it's yeah. hard. Yeah. It's yeah. hard too because then your mom, if you talk about domestic violence with your parents, they might hate your uh <laughs> yeah. your significant other. <laughs> all right. so, oh, yeah. No. Cool.